Hello everyone, welcome to Science Concepts with Bhavna Garwal and in this video we are going to talk about sea breeze and land breeze. So this is a phenomena which finds its uh, application or explanation not only in sciences but in social sciences as well. So if you know about geography, if you study geography in your school, you must be knowing that this is a very very important phenomena which you need to know both for science as well as social sciences. So here we go. Do you know what is the basic principle involved which results in the formation of land breeze, uh, land breeze and sea breeze? If not, then you should know that it is based, it is formed due to the formation of convection currents. So we have already discussed about convection currents and I have uploaded videos based on it. So the phenomena involved here is the phenomena of convection currents. So convection currents are set up in the atmosphere due to the uneven heating that occurs between the sea and the land. We know that the land it gets heated up faster as compared to the water that is present in the sea and also the land gets cooled down faster as compared to the water that is present in the sea or the ocean and this is exactly what results in the formation of the land breeze and the sea breeze. So let us discuss this in detail. So you can see I have drawn a rough sketch on my board. What happens during the daytime? During the daytime, the sun is out shining bright, which heats up the land faster as compared to the sea. So the land, it becomes hotter during the daytime. And because the land gets heated up faster, the air that is present on the land, it becomes warm and it rises up. So the air, it goes up resulting in the formation of a low pressure on the land. And in order to neutralize this low pressure, what happens? The cold breeze, because the temperature of the sea is lesser as compared to the temperature of the land. So this breeze, it starts blowing towards the land. And this is what is known as the sea breeze because it is blowing from the sea towards the land. So the sea breeze, it happens during daytime and the reason is there on the screen in front of you that a low pressure is created on the land because of the he uh, more heating effect during daytime which results in the creation of a low pressure. So the cooler airs from the sea, they start blowing towards the land in order to neutralize this low pressure and this is how the sea breeze is produced. On the other hand, what happens at night? At night, the land becomes cooler faster than the sea. So that means at night, the sea is warmer than the land, which is comparatively cooler. So what will happen? Where will the low pressure area be formed? On the land or on the sea? Yes, because the sea is warmer, a low pressure will be created on the sea and the air here rises up because when the air is warm, it expands and it rises up and the cooler air from the land, it starts blowing towards the sea and this is known as land breeze. So this is very, very simple, isn't it so? If you are thorough with your concepts of convection currents, how convection currents are set up, so land breeze and sea breeze are very, very easy to understand. So I hope this video of mine has made your concept about land breeze and sea breeze clear and I hope you will be able to write it well in your exams or if even if a general question is asked based on this from you. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more such informative videos on science. Thanks for being here.